morning. Actually, it's the afternoon. Is it really? Yep. Oh my gosh. Twelve thirty-five. Look, we're matching. Happy Vlogmas. It's not Vlogmas yet. Look, we're matching in our jumpers. Oh, this yeah. actually isn't available with the pink. It's in white now. Yeah, this is actually a very valuable limited edition. Because we didn't like it in the pink. We thought it no. clashed. It is. I don't know, a bit hard to see. Right? Well, I said in the last video, I was like, oh, I like it in the pink, it's so cool. But then I, we thought about it and we were like, actually, is it cool in the pink or does it just look... I mean, it is cool. Yeah. It is cool, I do like it, but I think it's better in white. Anyway. Especially, well, with the hoodie as well, because it's got to match the... Yeah, yeah, the toggles. The ties. Um, thank you, you to everyone who... You've put the thing oh, in the God. porridge. Thank you to everyone who bought some of the um, clothes and stuff over the weekend. It really made me very happy. Mm. Made us very happy and very proud. Mm. And um, we're so happy that um, loads of you really love the designs. Um, even those of you who didn't buy anything, you were really supportive and said you were really proud and congratulations and everyone was so sweet. So thank you for all your lovely support. But we just thought we'd vlog today and maybe tomorrow because uh, it's our last week in this flat. Yeah. It's, and... Um come up pretty fast and now I'm sort of realizing the stuff we've got to do <laughs> yeah it's yeah. like combining the start of vlogmas at the end of the week with moving flat and buying a house 50 miles <laughs> and then buying a house before and then Christmas, Christmas. and then uh, what have we done I know uh, yeah there's gonna be a and lot we're going to London tomorrow yep um, and then we've got... And you're coming back to London next week. Oh yeah. That actually Muse. worked out okay. I'm going to see Muse at the Royal mm. Albert Hall. I somehow managed to get tickets. The first ticket sale sold out in a minute. I'm not joking. At 10.01. Uh, so the 10.01 or 9.01 a.m. All so the tickets fast. were gone. Um, and then they, they put more tickets out like a few weeks later and I managed to nab some. Luckily. Um, oh yeah. And I've got some new glasses coming that don't have glare on them. You will be pleased. Sorry, we ran out of space on our memory card. What are you saying? saying? Oh, I'm getting new glasses with no glare. Mm. We had eye tests and I have perfect vision. Yeah. I thought you'd have at least something mm -mm. slightly wrong, but no. you don't. You're like zero. I think we do it differently in England to America or UK. So it's like zero point something. So minus like, zero zero, I'm which like, is the equivalent of 2020. I'm minus 2.5. I could be a pilot. Yeah. You could. I could live my long, my dream of being a pilot. I, I wanted, would hate to be a pilot. I really wanted to be like a pilot or something. Oh. Um, but I have bad eyesight and I'm colorblind, so. <laughs> yeah, really Alex, work. Alex's colorblindness really breaks my heart because sometimes, yesterday, was it the day before you picked out a pair of socks? And you said, I picked these out because I thought they were green, oh, but they're yeah, actually yeah. red, aren't they? <laughs> Because it was dark, yeah. And it makes my heart melt. This is one of the things you told me when we first met. I remember we were in our university halls and we were just chatting about something. I don't know how this even came up, but you said when I was younger, um, when you would draw, like, when people would tell you to draw trees and stuff, you used to find I, it really stressful I because... get the difference between, like, the brown for the trunk and the dark green for the leaves. I'd pick the... I'd, like, once I, I started colouring in the leaves brown, <laughs> Which kind of works for autumn, Aww. but it just looked really stupid. And I just I had, this I just had this image of little Alex as a little child struggling with the crayons and looking at them and looking really <laughs> sad and confused. <laughs> it's so cute. I think it's quite common though for people to um, yeah. be maybe not completely colour blind, but just at least slightly colour blind and get yeah. confused by certain colours. Mm. Because I've seen other people talk about it before, like they get confused between like blue and blues and greens right. and. Yeah. So let us know if any, any of you have this experience as remember well. Remember, the school I went to, we did something called the CCF, like Combined Cadet Force, very posh. And I was in the RAF, so you'd do, I don't know, you'd go out and do like trekking and camping and stuff. But we got to go and fly planes, like... You know, in your little, school, you flew a plane? Not in the school, we had to drive to like Salisbury Plain. Is this somewhat where, what kind yeah. of school I So I told you from? I flew a plane over Stonehenge. It was like a really, like a starter plane. You flew plane. the plane? Yeah. I got to go in a helicopter yeah. in school. Oh, that's pretty cool. But that was because I was, we were like chosen to do it. There was only yeah. two people who were allowed to do it and I, we got to do it. But that was that a special was... choice. <laughs> At that point in school, I think I didn't, I didn't like wearing glasses because I didn't like how they looked. And I was kind of colorblind, so I was surprised that they let me fly the plane. 
Yeah. Um, but a think, child yeah. flying a plane. Well, I was like colorblind. 15. I was like, so, You're still a child? Yeah. See her. We did three. We got to do it three or four times. Did you times. do flips? Yeah. Um, what? I was joking. I don't know. I think because it's... I can't remember the name for it. It's like a very, it's like a light, very light, small aircraft. Oh my it's very God, nimble. That's scary. I can't. I think I got to take off once and land it once. It's cool though. I got to do flips. I got to do twirly whirlies, barrel rolls. That's what they're called. Loop the loops, and then we only have t two yeah, minutes. Flip and then twist. Yeah. Anyway, and the last time I think once I got older, I started to like feel sick when I did it. When I was young, it's like amazing. And then but you did it more than once. I think I did it three or four times. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. And the fourth time I think I was sick. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, we're moving out this week. We're going to London tomorrow and Wednesday for meetings. And then we are coming back and unpack, oh, not unpacking, we're packing on Friday to load up a van on Saturday and do deep cleaning. And depending on how long that takes, we'll either leave Saturday or Sunday down to Cornwall. Probably Sunday. Probably Sunday. And then you're coming back with the van Return the van, collect my car. Collect your car. And then... See Muse. Stay at my parents overnight, take my brother to see Muse, and then... Yeah. Come back to Cornwall. Yeah. And then... Um, and then the real work begins. <laughs> and then we'll update you properly on the house situation when that's pro yeah. properly sorted and going through, and then we'll be moving, hopefully, soon. Hmm. Because we have, should we say, we have got a house. Do we? Huh? We are in the process of purchasing a house. Yes. I don't want to tell you which one yet or anything no. else or go into it or talk about it because, as I said, if you've, well, if you've ever bought a house, you know how long it takes. There's lots of solicitors, there's searches, yeah. surveys, there's contracts, there's back and forth. There's so much that goes on. It's, it's not just like, oh, I buy this house and then you move in in a month. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. So it's kind of, even though we delayed uploading those moving house um the house viewings we delayed them by like a few weeks it's still oh yeah 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 it's been like over a month hasn't it since more than we, a month since like we two months did the house first, viewings. Yeah, yeah compared to getting a flat where we viewed it and we're kind of settled mm. and, and we're like totally accepted different. as the person and then the next week we'd come and sign the papers yeah and got the keys this is much lengthier yeah we're running out of space because we keep on having to stop and start because we're talking about yeah. so many different things okay uh we'll see you next time but yeah we'll uh, we just thought we'd pick up the camera because yeah it's our last week in this flat and i think we'd regret it if we didn't pick up the camera this yeah. this week say goodbye say goodbye and yeah it's making me feel very nostalgic mm. i know what you mean but i'm so excited to leave this flat i mean yeah it's fitting that you were trying to film a video this morning and the builders were making a giant racket because... People have moved... The so the landlord who owns this building, yeah. who isn't our landlord, our flat is the only one that's owned by someone else, but the freeholder who owns the whole building has moved into one of the flats and he's doing building work. Mm. Um, and when we first moved, if you, you guys remember, the building work was non-stop for months and months yeah. and months and months. And then it's come back again and I'm just like, again. I'm done now. And I think when, you, when you're when you in the process of buying a house, all you can think about is the house and how much you want to move into it and how much you want to be there. Yeah. And it's Christmas time. I want to be in Cornwall with my family. And yeah. I'm just so over this place. I want to go home. <laughs> I'm so excited. But we'll vlog later on. That looks so healthy. Hello. Hello. We're in London and we haven't vlogged. <laughs> yeah. It's been we, a good day of vlogging so far. We vlogged yesterday. We're like, we're going to vlog in the day. And then yeah. it's raining as well. Yeah. So. And we were so busy, busy, rushy, rushy. It's trying to get so, to the first meeting. Right, I'm going to duck under here. It's so loud. So we're in London for big London meetings. I feel like such a YouTuber saying that. <laughs> We've got one in about half an hour. Um, and we're just like killing time. So, oh, it's much quieter here. Yeah. It was so loud back then. There was like a hundred buses and sirens. Um, but the clip you just saw, we went to a place called Arancini Brothers. Let's just duck under here because it's not yeah. wet. Because it's near where my sister works. And it was so good. It was like an all vegan, like, um, you know, there's risotto balls, there's arancini balls. Okay, this is a train tunnel. My God, this is why I don't live in London. It's so <coughs> loud. Here comes the bus. Ah! It's a bin lorry. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, it's raining. We're gonna go and probably update you later on, but it's been a bit of a hectic yeah, we'll day. We'll have a bit more free time later on. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. How are you, Alex? Cold. Look how cute it is here. Yeah. We kind of stopped abruptly earlier, didn't we? Yeah. It was so noisy, so rainy. We were a bit stressed before that meeting. Yeah. It was a good well, we meeting, weren't stressed, don't you think? but we were trying to figure well, out where I was it went. Because Apple Maps was messing up. Yeah. It was good, and um, we're waiting for my sister now, and then we're going to go get sushi yeah. and go look at the Christmas light and get excited. This week's a very busy week for us. Yep. Lots of work. We're moving out the weekend. We're going to a party now on Saturday night. <laughs> my cousin's party. Oh no, my, yeah, my auntie and uncle's party to say goodbye. How is and it then, your aunt and uncle's house? Yeah. Okay, and, um, so it's not like a party know. full of people I don't know. No. Okay, and that's then good. we're meeting with our friends Blue and Peter on Friday night. I've got a uh, video to film tomorrow, and then we've got more meetings tomorrow in London. We've got to fly the drone on the beach as well. And then we've got to, you know, say goodbye to Brighton and prepare and pack. It's going to be a very busy week, but busy in a good way. It's kind of one of those weeks where it's busy, but it's like, it's I exciting. love it. It's exciting. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll probably show you some nice little clips of the, the Christmas lights and the sushi and then say goodbye. So, we don't speak again. Hope you enjoyed this really random vlog. Mm -hmm.